Yeah, we are going to be plotting integers on a number line. Integers are positive or negative whole numbers. And my name is Jason Jacobs. So let's get started with 2-2, two -two, practice and problem solving on Envision, Pearson Realize. Here we go. The number positioned at A is, it's between negative 3 and negative 4. Okay? And these are rational numbers because rational numbers will be put in fraction form. So this is negative 1 fourth, 2 fourths, 3 fourths. So negative 3 and 3 fourths. Negative 3 and 3 fourths. There we go. Oh, I, I love this number line. I really think this will help you develop your number sense really well. B. Okay, it's between negative 5 and negative 6. So that tells us it's negative 5 and it goes 1 fourth, 2 fourths, 3 fourths, 4 fourths. So that's negative 5 and 2 fourths, which is negative 5 and 1 half. And 1 half. And these are called rational numbers. I'll explain why they're called rational numbers in a second. These are positive. These are negative. Negative 1, so you know it's negative 1. Now, a common mistake is to say negative 2 and a half. No, but it's negative 1 and a half because it's between negative 1 and negative 2. So negative 1 and 1 half. Now, what is a rational number? Some students might need to, you might want to know that. A rational number can be put in the form of A over B. A over B where B is not 0, where B is not equal to 0. So what do I mean? Well, this mixed number... 2 times negative 1 is negative, okay, so this would be um, negative 3 halves here. See how it's put in the form of A over B, A over B? So uh, neg um, any number that can be put as an improper fraction or proper fraction is a rational number. And the number 2 is a rational number because it can be put in 2 over 1. So I hope that helps you know what a rational number is. Just think of it as like a, it can be put in the form of a fraction or a decimal or an improper fraction. F, well, they sure do like, it's between negative one and negative two. Negative one and two fourths, which is equal to negative one and one half. I feel like, you know, we've done that one. Excellente. All right, now guys, for this, don't just guess. It's very tempting to do. Convert, okay, really important. I'm glad you're here. Convert four fifths to a decimal. Here's how you do it, guys. We're gonna convert it all to a decimal, then line them up. So really important, don't take the easy way out. Four divided by five. Now, it doesn't go in, right? So you gotta add a decimal. This is really important. Four goes into 40 eight times. Eight times five is 40. Okay, so it's 0.8, so it's 8 tenths. Now watch this. We're going to line up the decimals. And you'll notice we got to add a placeholder zero. Okay, I'll put a little smiley face. 80 cents, think of money. Decimals are like money, and money is really important. Okay, it's not everything, but uh, it's nice to think in terms of money. So obviously, the 83 hundredths is greater. So what this says is four fifths is less than 83 hundredths. See the alligator eating the 83 hundredths because it's, it's more. So there we go. Let's see if we're right. Well done. Thank you. Thank you very much. And this one. Okay, guys. Now, when you would do this, I'm going to draw, sketch a number line because this is really important. All right. So this is zero. This is negative one. This is negative two. This is negative three. All right. Now, negative two and four fifths would be about here, guys. It's all opposite when it's, it's all like backward when it's negative. Negative three and five hundredths would be like about here, really close to the three. Now, the further to the right, the further to the right, this is the right, 
This is the left. The further to the right is the greater one. So this one right here, this one right here is the greater one. Hope that helps if it's further to the right. Now, isn't that weird? You'd think three was greater than two, but because of the negative signs, and again, I recommend the strategy of using a number line to help you with that. That will really help. It does take a little extra effort, but that's a good, it's, it's okay. It's okay to give a little extra effort. All right, we are going to, um, if you remember, four-fifths, so this is negative, this is negative 0.8, if you remember from the last one. All right, now, it's a little backward now, right? So just sketch a number line. It doesn't have to be perfect by any means. You're just kind of like putting it where it is, just so you get a visual on it until you're more solid on this. Now, negative 98 hundredths would be right here, really close to one. That's negative 98 hundredths. Okay? And negative 0.8 would be right about here. So this one is to the far right. This one's to the right, and to the right is graders. So we are going to make negative 4 fifths is greater than negative 98 hundredths. All right. And again, that number line is really going to help you because otherwise it is really confusing when, th when they throw out these negative ones to us, isn't it? And I, again, my suggestion is to make a number line and it will be a lot better. So we're going to go least to greatest. Always make sure you see if it's least to greatest or greatest to least. So the least would be negative 6 followed by negative 2 and then 3. A great strategy for this is to make a number line as well. But I'm running out of time, so I'm going to go move a little quicker because I don't want to do a two-parter here. I might have to do a two-parter. All right, so um, I'm going to convert these to decimals for you. Nine tenths is 0.9. This is negative 0.5. All right, so we're going to least to greatest. And for least to greatest, negative 0.5, so negative 1 half, and then negative 0.2. And then we go into 7 tenths. And then 9 tenths is the greatest. I've got three minutes to finish this. Can we do it? What are these from least to greatest? All right. So see that 12 fifths, guys? Convert that into a um, mixed number. So that is a mixed number would be negative 2 and 2 fifths. And see that 8 fifths? That is positive one and um, three fifths. And this one here, negative two and a half compared with negative two. So this is negative two and a half is negative 2.5. And negative two fifths, two and two fifths is equal to negative 2.4. Just like that. So... What we have to do is boom, boom, boom. Uh, we're going to now go least to greatest. So the least one here, the furthest from zero, furthest left is the negative 2.5. So the negative two and a half. Then you have the negative 12 fifths. And then finally, 1.1, and then the 8 fifths. All right, I'm going to have to do a two-parter on this one. So we'll publish this one, and then I'll get the uh, second part out to you later. I'll see you guys. Bye.